Forests are one of our great natural resources. They clean our air and our water. They provide wildlife habitat and recreational opportunities. And because they're a renewable source of energy and provide a variety of valuable wood products, they're in great and growing demand. But despite that demand, there are four times as many trees in the U.S. today as there were in 1920. This is due in part to the forest industry's concerted efforts to study, improve, regenerate, and sustain our forests. Plum Creek grows 125 million trees every year. And from orchards like this is where we get our seed. We sell some of our seedlings to private landowners, but we also plant 60 million trees every year. That's enough to regenerate over 100,000 acres of timberlands. Big numbers like these help regenerate and sustain our forests for generations to come. But sustainability goes beyond quantity. Plum Creek is continually improving the genetic quality of every tree we plant through research and intentional selection of the strongest, most resilient, well-adapted trees. We produce taller, stronger, healthier trees in our seed orchards that are then used to produce seed to feed our nurseries and on out to our forest lands. By doing this, we can produce more wood on each acre of land. Since the 1960s, we have worked with universities and world non-geneticists. Our objective is to select superior trees and cross-breed them to produce seeds for field trials. We study the field trials, measuring trees for up to 20 years to identify which parents consistently produce the best offspring. The best parent trees are grafted into our seed orchards to produce our next great generation of trees. We operate several seed orchard complexes and forest nurseries across the U.S. It's at these facilities that we crossbreed the proven parent trees through a process called controlled pollination. While with natural pollination, the sharing of genetic traits is left to chance, controlled pollination is carefully planned. It starts a year in advance when we gather the pollen from selected trees. The pollen-bearing male parts of the tree, the catkins, are cut from the branches, bagged, and taken to drying rooms where we remove the pollen and sift it through a series of screens. The result is pure pollen, which is frozen and stored. The next year, the female parts of the trees, the flowers, have been developing and will soon be receptive to pollen. But before that happens, we place bags over all the flowers and seal them up tight. Inside the bags, the flowers open, ready for pollination. Using a specially designed tool, we inject the pollen gathered last year into the bag. A few days after being pollinated, the flowers close, no longer receptive to pollination, and we remove the bags. Eighteen months go by before we can collect the cones to harvest the seeds. The following spring, three whole years after we collected the pollen, the seed is ready to be planted in one of our nurseries. Some of our seeds are planted in containers, but the majority are sown in vast planting beds where they'll eventually be harvested as bare root seedlings. After a short time, the seeds germinate and seedlings pop into view. After about 10 months of being watered, nurtured, and weeded, the seedlings are about a foot tall. Harvest time is finally here. We trim the seedlings to a uniform height and loosen the soil to encourage the development of a healthy root system. Next, the harvester goes to work, gently lifting the seedlings from the bed and sending them to the packing shed. Throughout this process, seedlings receive ample moisture to survive the journey to their new forest homes. Thanks to more than 50 years of tree improvement research and advanced forest management practices, these young trees will grow faster, taller, stronger, and healthier. Simply stated, they're better trees. How much better? Let's take a look. Here we see two 25-year-old trees, about the age when they would be harvested for their wood. On the left, an average loblolly pine that was produced and nurtured using the genetics and silviculture methods available three decades ago. On the right, the expected average tree grown using today's more refined techniques. Today's offspring captures more carbon, provides more wood fiber, and nearly doubles the value of the harvest from each acre. 
We're now three generations into our quest to produce ideal trees, and we've already seen our efforts yield more productive, more sustainable forests, and all the benefits that come along with them. With so many positive outcomes already, we can't wait to see what the future holds.